Hello everybody, and I think my camera's a little bit low. So I gotta fix that. But hello everybody, as you can tell, I have some chicken parmesan going on here. <laughs> um, I had cooked it yesterday, but um, I wasn't feeling that well yesterday. So I saved it for today. Um, yeah, let's dig in. Oh, and I have some um, carbonara hot sauce. Because, I don't know, I want, I was craving it, but I didn't want to make the noodles. So, oh, and I don't want to have this go to waste, you know. So, I'm going to add some of this into my um, chicken parm. No, let's dig in. <laughs> oh, and I got my nails done, you guys. That's, they're really long. And I'm just getting used to how to, like, do a lot of stuff with them. But, yeah. And the reason why I got them done is because I haven't got them, my nails done in so long. And I was like, I want them done, and I want them long. So, yeah. Oh, let me turn off. This is gonna be a bad. You see that? So if I go like this, I don't know. I'll leave it alone. It should be fine. But let's dig in because I'm hungry and I'm talking about a whole bunch of stuff that don't matter. Mm. You can see there's a whole bunch of cheese on top. There's a big plate. This is why I got this right here, so I could sort of like serve myself on it. Mm. Hold on. Talking about one of those things that I gotta learn how to do without my nails. Okay, there you go. Mm, I love the smell of it. Um, right. It's not coming out. This sauce does not come out that easily. I guess they made that so it doesn't pour out when you accidentally put a whole bunch of hot sauce in your stuff. Oh my God. Mm. You guys, put this in your pasta, you're not gonna regret it. Unless you put too much. So I was thinking about what topic am I going to talk about today. And I'm like, and I've rem like, I thought about something, but I forgot what it was. Mm. Oh my god. That hot sauce and this taste so good together. And I imagined it did in my mind. Mm. 
Put a lot in my mouth. I wasn't really craving that, but putting that hot sauce on it kind of made it made it like that much more mm, better. Cold water. Oh my God. Mm. Just dig in some more. Some of the noodles, the pasta doesn't have, some of the pasta at the bottom don't have sauce because I just poured it on top. Um, and this is a big ass plate. I'm not going to eat it all by myself and because I made some yesterday I made two of these yesterday and then like I ate one of them yesterday yeah <clears throat> so I was thinking about what I should talk about and um, Something like inside me told me, talk about something that you love or something that you're very interested in. Or passionate about, like, I'm very passionate about, um, well, not passionate, but like, I look into it a lot. Um, and that is horoscopes. And I understand a lot of people don't believe in it or don't care for it, but I do. And what got me into it was dating an Aquarius, <laughs> like that sign is so um complicated that i wanted to figure it out and i wanted to figure that out by the way i'm a capricorn i was born january 13th so i makes me a capricorn And another thing that I realized is that Aquarians and Capricorn do not make a good couple. We're, we're very different in a lot of things. Mm. Which I think, like, Capricorns and Aquarius, at least in my book. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. The reason why sometimes you don't, like, like, you know how people read their horoscope and then they like, oh, I don't, like, that doesn't, like, like, I'm not going through that or something like that. Like, it doesn't, it's not relatable or whatever. It's because you have other signs in your chart. And you might, like me, I might be in a, uh, a Capricorn, but I have um, 
Scorpio on my chart. I have um, Aquarius in my chart. I have I said Scorpio, Aquarius, and Virgo in my chart. So it's like, yeah, that's a very bad combination. <laughs> Which is why, like, I feel like I can relate a lot to a, a Aquarius, but um, we tend to bump heads a lot, and that's and that's another thing that I tell people. Like, it's not just your horoscope is you have to look at your whole chart and obviously sometimes we might be dating somebody that we we don't know their whole chart we just know their horoscope <laughs> excuse me but i've watched videos where they explain to like they explain like um like different things in a sign like i don't know like, I felt like the Aquarian, Aquarian that I was dating had a lot of um, Capricorn in his chart because I feel like um, the coldness and all that, like, that's an Aquarian, um, wait, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, let me rephrase that. I thought he had a lot um Capricorn in his um chart and it was in, it was because I could oh my god like I seen a lot of um char characteristics that he um had that I had and it was because I have um Aquarius in my chart but I thought he had Capricorn on his, but it's not. But if he might, I don't know. I I would have to figure that out. And the only way to know for sure is when you to know the time uh, that the person was born, where exactly they were born, and all that. I didn't know all that. But I also dated um, an Aries before. And Aries and Capricorns are definitely not a match at all, whatsoever. And with an Aries, it's like everything, when it's good, is really good. But when it's bad, it's horrible. It's a nightmare. And um, both both Aries and Capricorns are horned animals, so we bump heads a lot. So yeah, that wasn't a great um a great um relationship but i don't know why but i don't know why like again going back to aquarians they're the ones that um there that sign is the one that got me to think about all this stuff because um before i would look at my horoscope once in a while here and there you know i didn't really care um until I dated an Aquarius and I wanted to know everything about him and I wanted to know how, like, what was he thinking, how he thinks, all that. Like, you know how frustrating it is to know, to like not know what somebody's thinking because they always keep it to themselves. Like, that's what dating an Aquarius is. Mm. Mm. And um, I 
with an Ar like dating an Aries was easier because um like they don't hide their emotions um but like I said when it's really bad it's it's horrible like you know so it's it's got it's bad things but I feel like with an Aquarius is the reason why I got so obsessed with the sign was because um like they're very kind they they treat you very nice they some of them can court you meaning like they take you out on dates and things like that and it make you feel special call you beautiful make you feel like you're their world but then then all that goes away and you're stuck to, um, I'm in limbo because you're like I thought you really liked me but like you're showing me the opposite by ignoring me by not being there you know like it's so contradicting you know <clears throat> and dating um in Aries, I didn't really get none of that. Like, I didn't get... Like, we went out on, like, places, obviously, but, like, on a date date where it was just me and him and it was just an intimate thing never really happened. As to, it did really ha Like, it happened a lot with an Aquarius. A lot of intimate dates, a lot of one-on-one, um, -on -one, but... um then you wouldn't hear from them for a few days or and that's what it like it's oh my god and i and then i don't mean to talk a lot about an aquarius but um it's just my experience like in dating like and how how i got obsessed so obsessed with that sign and trying to figure out everything about it because because it's like you feel so amazing and then you're like let down and then you're like what happened I thought you really liked me and I think it's because like a lot of them like to be alone first of all and then um, I think like they go from one thought to another so they might be liking you feeling you a hundred percent right now but then tomorrow wake up and then realize, oh, I wasn't really, like, I'm not really feeling like that today. Like, I feel, I feel that's how I, that's how they think. I don't know. But, but then, but then, like, <clears throat> those feelings might resurface in them and then they're like, hey, I miss you. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so, it's very, um... Capricorns and Aquarius, a very hard side to date. And I've dated, um, in the past, I've dated, like, Libras before. Don't like Libras because they, they have such a wall up that you can't really tear down because they're always non-trusting and <clears throat> I don't know much about them you know so and it, they're not that um intriguing for me as a sign like I was able to break up with an, a, a Libra and be okay like uh, okay bye toodles I've been <laughs> oh my god I've um Let me see what other signs I've ever dated in the past. I'm trying to think. Because I, I, um. Trying to think. Taurus. Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. Taurus. 
<laughs> yeah, Taurus probably watching like what? Like what? What? What about us? Um I did it a Taurus. And we are a we're supposed to be a match, first of all. Capricorns and Taurus are supposed to be a match. Not with me. Not them. Um, I don't know. When somebody tells me, oh, I'm a Taurus, I run away. And it's funny because I might say, oh, because of the infidelity that I received by a Taurus, but Every, every relationship I've ever been in, there was infidelity, you know? So I can't really use that as an excuse as to why I don't date the Taurus um, anymore. <laughs> but um, I never have a lot of Taurus, you know, well, I don't attract them much. I don't know why. I attract a lot of Aquarians and a lot of Aries. Don't know why. And then like, <clears throat> I don't know. I think it's because like, Tauruses can be very um, selfish. Um, manipulative. Um, what else? Hot headed. I think. Well, I think I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm trying to think like what else? What makes me not be attracted to a Taurus? They lie a lot. Like they lie. For no reason, like why are you, like why do you just lie about that? Like you didn't have to lie, even though a lot of people do lie. But Tauruses, for some reason, they just lie, and it's like it's like kind of like they're trying to test you to see if you could tell that you they're lying or not. Like I don't know. <clears throat> And since I'm a Capricorn, I'm a human light detector boy. Listen, don't lie to me because you'll only be lying to yourself, really. <laughs> what other sign? I know my son is a Scorpio, but um, I looked up his chart and it's funny that he, his his second um, sign would be a Capricorn, and then he has Taurus in his chart. Um, but it'll be Scorpio Capricorn. And I'm like, wow. So my theory is that we pass down our our signs to our kids because my mom is a um a Scorpio. I'm a Capricorn, but I have Scorpio in my chart, which is the second sign, which is my moon sign. 
um, which is crazy. Like, it's crazy. So my son is a lot like me. Like, he's very, he's, he's a loner. He, but he likes to be hanging around a lot. Like, he, he likes to hang out, but, but he's a loner. He chooses when to want, he wants a long time or when he wants to hang out. Um, he, um, very sarcastic, just like me. <coughs> Capricorns pride themselves to be very, very sarcastic. Like, you'll be questioning whether they're being sarcastic or not. And our sarcasm is very, like, nonchalant. Like, we can be very sarcastic in a very nonchalant way. Like, you'll be questioning, like, wait was she be, was she being serious or was she being like you question it or you think i was really being serious and i was not but yeah i was just reading a message that popped up on my um screen I swear, this song's so bad. Um, so it's like, I don't know. I don't think I've ever dated an, a Scorpio, though. But my son is a Scorpio. He was born in November. I don't remember dating anybody that birthday was in November. Not that I dated a lot of people. Um, and I've always been in like long-term relationships. And with Aquarians, be ready to be in a relationship today. And only be friends tomorrow. <laughs> I swear if an Aquarius proposes to me, I'm going to be asking him every day, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because <laughs> you may never know. They might change their mind from one day to another. You see, you see my obsession, you see where I'm coming from. <laughs> and then, like, how did you make me feel so good today and then tomorrow you don't want to talk to me? Like, what did I do? I mean, now it's different. Now I'm like more aware a lot of things but before it was it was when I didn't know when I didn't know much about the sign like I was like questioning even myself sometimes like and that's not a good that's not a good thing to be questioning yourself like what did I do wrong did I say something like did I do something no it's not you it's them <laughs> oh my god and, and and especially if I've been like in a very in very long term relationships, I'm loyal, I am straightforward, I speak my mind, I say how I feel, like <clears throat> only thing with us Aquari um Capricorns is that like we're very cold. We we can be very cold. My my face like I always hold <laughs> A straight face all the time don't matter excuse me don't matter where I go <laughs> what I'm doing <laughs> look I look like I've been asked like are you having fun like yes I'm having fun it's really fun like why are you asking me that well cuz your face doesn't look like it and it's like okay like I always, I always have a fucking sorry about that I always um, have a, a poker face, like, 
nonchalant. <laughs> and I like, like, I rather that because sometimes smiling too much, being too friendly, like, I don't know, gives people the wrong idea sometimes. Like, have you ever smiled at somebody and be like, hi, like, be nice and courteous and stuff like that, and then they go back and tell somebody, like, oh, she likes me because she said, like, Ew, no, I was just being nice. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my reason for, like, being so deep into, like, law school. It wasn't a for me. It's like, then I got into, like, re um, YouTube started showing me uh, stuff, stuff, stuff stuck in my teeth. That's why I make that face. <sighs> but um, they're the ones that got me like really into it, like horoscope. And then um, then I started looking into other things like tarot because I don't know how to say that tarot, tarot, tarot. I don't care. Um, I got into that because of YouTube started showing it to me like here watch this <laughs> and anyways I clicked on it and I was like oh my god like she just said my whole life you know and then that became an addiction on its own um <clears throat> I tried dating a gem I tried to date a Gemini and Oh my god I was trying to get to know him he just I don't know like it's like do you only want me for sex I do you only want me for sex I had to re say that again because I don't know my mouth be having this and all that but like that's what it seemed like with them like all they all that he talked about was sex 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 and it's like can we can, like what color like what's your favorite color like where do you want to travel to what's your favorite food like can you stop talking about sex so much like damn and they love like they love like um if you um send them random pictures especially if they're sexy uh, <laughs> but like that's that was my experience with that sign like i really didn't experience much but talking about sex a lot so that didn't go nowhere um <clears throat> and usually when guys are like that it doesn't really go nowhere with me because I might flirt back a little bit, but then I'll lose interest really quick because um, I'm not here for that, you know? <laughs> I'm here to get to know you, and I don't know you. I know your favorite position, but, like, <laughs> that's so funny, though. But, yeah, that was my experience with a Gemini. I was trying to think about what other signs that I've ever date or talked to. I talked to a Gemini, and that was my experience with them. And um, I touched up on a little bit on, on Libras. But, um, yeah, like, Libras don't trust very easily. So, it's like, yeah, you can stay over there on trust. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. Aries are very hot-headed. Um... Aquarius, MIA Kings, <laughs> um, Scorpios, um, what the, I don't know, I don't know about Scorpios, I never, I only know my son and I never like, I don't know. 
very friendly, I would say, because my son's very friendly. Um, I'm trying to think of any other sign that I've ever dated, and I can't really think of, the, of one. Virgo! I dated a Virgo before. And even though Virgos and Capricorns are supposed to be a good match, my Virgo wasn't. <laughs> no, um, Virgo, he was very nice. Like, he would, a Virgo would sit there and, and feed you out their own plate. Like, they're very nice. Like, they're protective over theirs. They're, I could tell that. And, um, <clears throat> um, They're, they're loners just like we are. Um, they're very, 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 they're very self-conscious, like, like, um, like, I don't know. It's like, it's like, um, I can't, not that they don't trust, because... I feel like with the Virgo that I was dating, we had a trust there, but um, very sneaky. They're very sneaky. Um, damn, I'm trying to think like every, like, they're very sneaky. Um, they trust easily they're very trusting and trustworthy um they're straightforward just like we are um which Tauruses are too um we're all in the um i think we're all water no earth signs I should know that. I should know that. I don't know why I don't know that. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> um... But, yeah, Virgos is our very, um... Like, they... I feel like they try too hard sometimes. Like, I feel like Virgos is... They try to be cool, and then since they're trying so hard, it comes off very, um, fake, I could say. And, um, it's like, yeah. <laughs> like, let's say, like, like a Virgo. Like, the guy that I was dating, he, he wanted to, like, act like he was this mobster. And it's like, you're just this regular guy, you know. He was, like, into, like, Pablo Escobar and um, the cartels and all types of crazy stuff. And, he like, he's all into that. And it's like, you're nothing but, you know, somebody from... <laughs> from the hood boy sit down you know you don't even <laughs> you don't even um do nothing serious boy so that kind of like seemed very fake about him because it's like like I'm not saying that he was in a like a tough guy whatever when I say that I don't know but it, it was just like, okay, you're trying too hard because you're not, you're none of that. But, um, you know, I'm a Tony Montana boy, sit down.
Libras, they are excuse my language, they're hoes. <laughs> I think like because of their not trusting nature that they can never settle down with somebody and actually be in a relationship with them without cheating because they don't trust. So if you don't trust, you're not going to be faithful. <laughs> I find that a I find that a problem. I find that a problem. But um Aquarius Aquarians are not faithful either. They're very sneaky too. Um, but with an Aquarian you can tell more. Because they go MIA. <laughs> so you're like, okay, you're not with me, you're with somebody else, I'm sure. But um, in, in a lot of cases, it's like that, you know? Um, and they they quick to be like, oh, because we like to be alone. No, I know you with somebody else. <laughs> um, I got kind of tired of the same flavor. Even though this was kind of helping. And I'm not saying that I don't cook good, cause I cook banging. I just I'm not, I'm not a pasta eating connoisseur, you know. <laughs> but anyways, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I don't know. Um, by by the way, you guys don't attack me in the <laughs> don't attack me in the comments, like. This is just my opinion, my views. I'm not saying that you guys are really like this. These are my views on each time. Let me see. Pisces. Pisces men are crazy. What I noticed. I don't think I've ever dated one. But from what I noticed... They got um, maybe one or two little screws up in their head, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> My father was a, is a spy, is a Pisces, by the way. Before anybody starts attacking me, um, he's crazy. <laughs> Which is why I say it. And seeing other Pisces men, you know, it's like, yeah, you sure you're not my dad? You know, because crazy. But, anyways, um, yeah, that was my experience with that sign. <clears throat> So we got Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, um, Aquarius, um, Aries, um, damn it, I might have to look up the whole zodiac. So Taurus, spicy. Aries, Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, never dated one before, I don't think I have, but I heard that they're crazy too, <laughs> they got problems, anxiety and fucking depression and all types of shit, but, um, no, I'm just, like, I'm not playing, but I'm playing, because, I really don't know much about um, um, Sagittarius, but what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I said Libras. 
I said Gemini. I said Wow. I can't even think of anything else. Well, let's take another bite while I think. I feel like pulling it up on my TV. All the zodiacs. All the zodiacs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling like that today, but yeah. Let's see what all the zodiac signs are. Because I'm stuck right now. Leo. Oh, what? Zodiacs. So there's 12, I've talked about like seven of them. Anyways, while that plays and does all that stuff, I'm gonna take another bite. All the zodiac signs. No. Aries. Hot headed. Angry shoes. Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, see? See, I'm not lying. Torres. They see how that girl's all in love and stuff. That's how they are. They fall in love with people head over heels. And then they get let down. <laughs> and then it's the world's fault. Gemini. Sex addicts. Watch it. Watch. 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 Yeah, see? Winky eye. Look at that. He got his tongue out. Not play. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I'm sorry you guys were watching this video. But yeah, like cancers. I don't I oh I dated a cancer before. I dated him for a whole year and then like he broke up with me out of the blue too, like yeah, everything's about them. How they feel, how you make them feel, how how you didn't Leo My sister's a Leo. Never dated one and um I don't plan to not not in a bad way, it's just I don't feel like Capricorns and Leos go together at all. And I've never um 
even I don't even think I've ever met um a Leo male. <laughs> Virgos. Yes, you can call on them. They listen really good. They have very good um advice. Um they're very smart like when it comes to advice. And they know a lot. Like even the young ones, they're very they they've lived so much that they know a lot. Libra. <laughs> Yeah, it's always flirting with somebody. But don't fall for it. And they never know. They don't know. It says, I don't know. Right there. It's because they don't trust. Somebody put trash. Scorpio. Loners. Yes, yes, yes. Very moody, 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 moody. I don't know what that was. Um, Sagittarius. I don't know much about Sagittarius, but the fact that they have like. Anxiety and all of that. Like, I know a lot of Sagittarius that, like, suffer from anxiety, depression, and all that. I'm not trying to say they're crazy, but they it must be something that, you know. See, feelings. That's what I was just about to say. Feelings. It must be something that they're feeling because, you know, why would all Sagittarius be like that, you know? Capricorns. <laughs> like being in long term relationships don't like thinking cause that's all we do writing and we schedule everything <laughs> yes yes what would I do without a schedule big hearts yes Aquarius always thinking just like we are Always joking. Different. A very different than everybody. They will have the different hairstyles. Um, their style will be different. Like very smart. Pisces. After this video, I'm, I swear to God, it's old. like I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Pisces. See, I don't know much about spices, but um, it looks like they're crybabies <laughs> right there. Um, what's your sign? Did they do all signs? I think they did. So, yeah, you guys. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what's your sign. Tell me, was I wrong about anything that I said? No, that, let me know if I was wrong about anything that I said. Cause I could be, I like, I could be wrong. Like I said, these are my opinions. Um, it has nothing to do with um, what, how people actually are. These are my opinions again. Like I said. So, I don't want you guys to be attacking me in the comment section down below. Talking about, I'm not like that. Da, 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 like, you got me messed up. I would not, like, I get it. I get it. It's okay. But you could tell me down below that I was wrong. In a nice way. <laughs> don't attack me. But anyways, you guys, let me know down below what's your sign. What you thought about this video. Share with other people. Tell me what's your opinion on 
all these signs that I just mentioned. And um, like, so don't forget to subscribe and share with people. Like I said, share it. <laughs> no, I appreciate everybody that watches my channel. I'm thankful for everybody that has recently subscribed and those who have subscribed from the from the beginning until now. My mom's always watching. I thank her for always supporting me. Um, I think my last video was with my mom. No, my last video was um, the candy video. But I did a video with my mom and, it, and if you look back, you will see I introduced my mom to YouTube so you guys can go watch that video. But anyways, I gotta go. Because it's been already an hour and I'm still sitting here. Bye.